Hey everyone, here's a quick and dirty breakdown to show how I made the cyberpunk image using Blender and Photoshop. The first steps was prepping my photo by doing some basic exposure adjustments, light skin retouching, and then cutting my subject out from the background. I then reframed the image to my liking and exported out a PNG with a transparent background. Inside of Blender, I set the project resolution to match my Photoshop document. I then created a camera with settings matching the focal length of my real life camera that I shot the photo with, imported the subject image from Photoshop as a camera background image, and used a hue and size reference object to position my 3D camera to match the perspective of my original image. I want to show that you don't need any advanced 3D modeling skills to create cool backgrounds in Blender. With that, the main 3D models that I used were free assets that I got off Sketchfab made by these people. I imported these models into Blender and lined things up with my 3D camera that I created earlier. As one usually does when using 3D models from various sources, I spent a few minutes adjusting the scale of the models as well as setting up the materials, which usually consists of relinking or importing the various texture maps and adjusting things like colors and roughness. After blocking in my scene, I used an HDRI of some industrial warehouse to establish the basic reflections and room tone of my scene. I then created a large volume cube covering my whole scene for some atmospheric haze. From here, the rest of the lighting was fairly straightforward, that being an area light behind my entire scene to get some nice directionality, and a few more behind where my subject would be in 3D space. I felt the whole piece was a bit too blue, so to introduce some color contrast, I also put in a red area light behind my subject. I then posed a basic 3D character to match my subject in the camera background so that I can get some realistic shadows on the ground. I then turned off the camera visibility of this layer so that just the shadows were visible in the render. To add some more details to the scene, I added in a bunch of basic cables on the ground and some hanging cables from the structures. I made these by simply drawing curves and converting them to a simple mesh and slapped on a basic black texture. The last part of making this 3D scene was adding in some wispy smoke coming from the ground using an imported VDB that I made inside of Embergen. In a separate Blender project, I imported that 3D camera that I made earlier and then imported the 3D sword model from Sketchfab and set up some super basic lighting after matching it up with the camera background image. In Photoshop, I brought in the render of my CG background and began cleaning up my subject layer mask as well as painting out parts of the original photo that I didn't want, such as the PVC pipe that I used as a placeholder prop and the stool that was in front of the foot. I then imported the CG render of the sword and used a layer mask to hide parts of the sword that would be occluded by the hand. I then began to adjust the exposure and levels of my CG background to better match my subject, and then added in a gradient layer behind everything for a bit more visual interest. To make everything pop a little more, I did some dodging and burning on both the background as well as my subject layers. To help better blend all the elements together, I used a smoke brush to enhance what was already there, as well as I brought in some lens refraction elements from CGHacks.com. To finish things off, I added in some glows using Oniric, and then I added in a bit of blurring around the edges of the frame as well as some chromatic aberration to help recreate a bit of lens imperfection qualities. Finally, I graded the entire image by adjusting the levels and colors of my image, adding a small amount of film grain, and then played around with some LUTs to help give the image that extra bit of style and pop.